model railroad track work. We're laying pico flex and turnouts on raised roadbed and we're gonna do it right now. Hey, my name is Brian and I wanna welcome you to the channel. This is the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western and we're glad you're here. If you are new to the channel, I wanna encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon and share this with your other model and friends. I do need a favor for you guys that support this channel. If you have some time, I need you to go over to Midwest Model Railroad's website. That's Midwest Watt Model Railroad and vote for me in the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest 3. I'm doing pretty good in third place, only a couple point, uh, votes out of second. So if I can get a few of y'all to run over there and vote for me today, I sure would appreciate it. If you've already voted, don't worry about that. You can vote twice. Heck, if you hadn't voted in the last 24 hours, you can vote thrice. Every 24 hours, you can go over there and vote. So I would appreciate the support if you've got time. I've got the uh, website should be scrolling down there below and I've also got a link in the description to make it easy for you to get there. I do appreciate it. Thanks guys. Enjoy the video. Hey, good morning everybody and as I said, I'm going to be laying a couple different uh, lines off of my main line here in plain view out of this turnout right here. I'm going to be laying two lines coming off of it. The one on the right down here, there's going to be two, as I said, you can see there will be two. The one on the right down here is going to go on and go down under through here and off to Wyoming, okay? This one on the left side is going to come down through here and we'll be able to access freight from the sawmill that's being constructed right now and that line will also go on through to Utah okay I'll actually I'm going to be laying um, a short piece here to get me to the turnout and this will be metal conducting rail joiners here metal conducting rail joiners here when I hit the turnout on the other side of the turnout on the positive sides the outsides of both that would be this one and this one will have insulated rail joiners and both lines will come off and we'll have re-railers uh, right here probably right in here I'll have re-railers because I'll be loading cars uh, right here a good bit um, this will be one of the places that I load cars um, primarily so I will have re-railers here and then we'll go on through so what I'll be doing is running that, dropping those power, that power as well in this episode. And this is the first one of these I'll be doing um, off my main line. And I do already have something right here that's going to help me um, adjust, turn the power off and on. So I will have power control over both these lines and they will start right here and I'll be able to turn them off and on so I can park locos, etc. in there. And this will be the first one of these I'm doing. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nip these right here and I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take a tie out, one tie out, and I'm gonna drop some power. And then I'm going to set this and I'll take this turn out here and I'll pull the very last tie. I'll trim the very last tie off these out. They'll help the uh, hold the insulated rail joiners are a little harder to get in there. I even do that with metal joiners on the Pico turnouts. I take that last tie out. Uh, <clears throat> I will also on the um, then I will probably put in another short piece from here to here today and then I'm waiting on the mail for my re-railers so I'll probably stop right here wait on the mail and come back and then we'll finish it off on off I appreciate y'all uh, coming in and watching today hanging out with me getting ready to get to work if you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe and click the bell icon. Share this with your other model and friends um, you think might enjoy my videos. And here we go. Let's get to work now. Let's stop messing around. Here we go. Okay, so the products I will be using today, minus my toothbrush for cleaning that I'm missing, are probably Gracie got that, to be honest. 
All right, so I'll be using Q-tips. Here are my rail nippers. Those are those good ones. Uh, I've got some new solder. It's thicker than I wanted. Not sure I'm going to like it or not. Pick this up at Home Depot. It's got 10 flux, and that's really what I like about it, that uh, weller thing where you can clean the tip. I'm going to be putting in a medium left hand pico turnout a, a y would work as well but i have a y but i need it elsewhere and i don't need this elsewhere so i'm using this because it works my soldering gun my pin vise um i got a new micro box i'm also going to be using push pins i'm going to show you all that in a minute too and insulated rail joiners metal conducting rail joiners my uh whatever that's called to uh, trim the ties off. I'll show y'all that in a minute. And what we're gonna be doing next is taking this guy right here. I'm gonna flip it. No, I'm not gonna flip it. I'm gonna take a tie out and I'm gonna solder drops in there. And then I'm going to put it right here.
I use uh, red and white for positive and negative on my main line. <clears throat> for the ground on my spurs and terminuses and passings, uh, things off the main line, I use white. And then for the spurs, I will use a colored. wire to represent the positive for that line. That'll help me to uh, differentiate connections that are close to each other. Um, and for this project, I'll be using um, green and blue. I think that's how I'm going to do it. And so this is actually just Cat5 cable. And all I really need to do is separate it. To the length I want. You could argue that I could actually somewhat keep it together and maybe I should um, but I do have to run them to separate places but I could just actually do it at the ends and um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna split the ends So I can run this off to a ground and I'm going to leave this together somewhat in the middle and this will be the opposite sides of I'll be soldering to this.
have some new Pico joiners that look a little different. I'm hoping they um, go on as easy, go on easier. Man, they sure look better. I will tell you that.
I want to thank you for watching today. Again, if you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other modeling friends. Please check back exactly one week from today because I'll be uploading part two and you can see the completion of this project. Again, I would like to encourage you, if you have not already today, to go over to Midwest Model Railroad website and vote for me in the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest too. I do need your help. You can vote each day every 24 hours. If you have time, I'd appreciate the help. Thank you for supporting the channel by watching this video. Please leave a comment below so I know you're here. Thanks guys, see you in a week. Take care.